calling Microsoft. This is Dave Cooper. How can I help you? Good eye there, David Cooper. Uh, I've got this message on my computer. It says to call you up. Okay, and what kind of message that you're getting on your screen? Uh, Windows Defender Security Center. Then we've got address IP, whole load of numbers, location, okay. ISP, access to the PCB block for the security okay. reasons. Call Windows support on 1-844. All right, and can you please do let me know what you was trying to do on your computer when you got this alert? Oh, I was trying to download some stuff. Okay, is it uh, possible you might click on some kind of bad link or bad website by mistake? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I've just clicked on it and it happened. Okay, no worry. Uh, the thing is here, I believe you already know that you're having a pre-installed security by Microsoft in your computer that is called the Windows Defender Firewall Security. Whenever any virus try to infect your device or any third party try to get hacked into your device without your knowledge or without your permission, this Defender Security used to block your computer. So not only you, no third party people or no virus can infect your device. Can you please do let me know, is this uh, a computer or a laptop that you're using right now? Well, it's it's a laptop, but I use it like a computer. It's a laptop. Yeah. It's a laptop, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And uh, like apart from you, is it possible? Do anybody else have access for your computer? Uh, well, no, I, I just got this computer last week at Christmas time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, no worry. Uh, see, to help you out in a better way, what we need to do is we need to connect this device with the secured server of Microsoft. So we can completely get this computer unlocked, okay? Then oh, uh, I will guide you with a few steps so you can do the diagnose, okay? Yeah. And if uh, you need any further help, for sure, uh, I will do let you know how you can connect me with your computer so I can do the diagnose for you. Okay, the very first, I will guide you with the steps that you can connect your device with the secured server. Uh, the very first, can you please uh, confirm it by the number I'm getting this call? It's uh, one four one nine for the landline number. Uh, yeah, that's my cell phone. Cell phone. Yeah. Okay, and can you please confirm me with your first and last name? Uh, yeah, it's John Thomas. John Thomas. Okay. Yeah, and uh, can you please do let me know, uh, get, like uh, the zip, uh, area zip code by which area you are calling us right now? Can you please confirm the zip code? Uh, four three six one three. And uh, you're having this issue for the first time? Well, yeah, like I said, I only got this computer at Christmas. It's new computer. Okay. Yeah. All right. No worry. No worry. Let me guide you with few steps. Uh, what you need to do, please have a look at the very bottom on your keyboard, okay? You will see a window key with four little box, white in color. I want you to please press and hold down the window key for uh, two, three seconds. And at the same time, hit letter R, R as in Romeo. R. And then release the key. Well, type the name of the program folder document on the internet. Windows can go and open it for you. Okay. All right, very well. You're doing great. Now, inside the run box, please type in www. www. Put a dot as in period. Dot. Then type ultra u as in unicorn. Ultra u? No. Uh, how are you ultra spelling ultra u? U L. U L. Uh, let me spell it out for you. It, it's U L T R A. U L T R A. V I C I E W E R E W E R V I It's V as in Victor. All right, okay then. V I E W E R. Okay. Then put a dot again as in period. Dot. Then type N E T net. N E T net. All right then. Now can you then please com? read it back to me what you have typed in? I've got www.ultraviewer.netnet. Very well. Now, please hit OK. And then it's, well, should it be .com after that? No, it's netnet. Then oh. hit OK. OK. And it will take you to the Ultra Viewer page. Please do let me know what you can see on your screen once you hit OK. 
Okay, it can't be found, but please check if there's a typo in www.ultraviewer.net. Okay, can you please hit the window key and the letter R once again? Okay. Well, now, done that. Uh, inside the run box, uh, is there anything mentioned or is it clear? Oh, it says www.ultraviewer.net. Okay, please do me a favor. Please uh, use backspace and clear it out. And okay. uh, type in Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge. H. Now, please hit OK. All right. It's opened up a folder. This PC, local disk C, Windows, System32, Microsoft. Okay. Now, please have a look at the very bottom on your uh, laptop screen. You will see a search panel with a small magnifying glass icon at the very, very yeah. bottom on your laptop screen. Yeah. Please click on it. Yeah. And now, please type in www. www. Put a dot as in period. Dot. Then type U as in unicorn. U. L as in Linda. L. T as in Tango. T. R as in Romeo. R. A as in Alpha. A. V as in Victor. B. I as in Indiana. I. E as in Echo. E. W as in Washington. W. E as in Echo. E. This is the same as before, the Octaviewer.entity net. Yes. Well, I'm typing it in again. Yes, right. Now, Were we uh, meant to have a dot com at the end? Because all we got is entity net. Uh, I'm sorry. At the end, you know, after Ultraviewer, it's Ultraviewer.Enitinet. Do we need a .com right. at the end of that? No, uh, you just need to type in Ultraviewer.net. .net? You said Enitinet anymore uh, right. in, in the beginning. No, it, it was, uh, you need to put a dot as in period of yeah. your viewer, and then you need to type Enitinet. Oh, it is Enitinet. So which one is it? Is it dot net or is it dot internet? It's uh, you after viewer. You need to put a dot as in period and then yeah. type n e t net. Oh, so it's internet. And please hit enter. Okay. Unable to connect. Check if there's a typo in www dot dot net. Okay. Do one thing. Uh, at the search panel, please type in Microsoft Edge. M I C R O S O F T Microsoft H E D G E H E T G E It's E D G E E D G E I don't suffer from E D Microsoft Edge All right then we got Microsoft Edge It looks a lot like Internet Explorer I don't oh. use Internet Explorer Okay now what you can see on your screen but it wants to open up uh, this Internet Explorer thing. I tend to use okay. Google Chrome uh, are you... or the Firefox. Okay, can you please open Google Chrome? Yeah, open it. Yes, please open Google Chrome. Yeah, it's open. Okay. Mm. Now, at the very top, uh, you will see a search panel where you can type in anything to search. Yeah, that's right. Right. Now, I want you to please I'll type, type in... Oh www.ultraviewer.net oh, oh, so it's .net. You've been saying Enitinet. Please type in www.ultraviewer.net okay. Yeah, okay, well, ultraviewer.net. We want to go to that one then. Okay, have you typed in? Ultra yeah, I've, I've typed it in. Okay, now please hit enter and do let me know what you can see on your screen. All right then. Uh, Ultraviewer remote desktop software Ultra view helps you control your partner's computer without them knowing so that you can spy on them and stuff. More info to download. Okay, now yeah. I want you to please have a look at the very middle on your screen. You will see a green box mentioned as download. Yeah, I just mentioned more info in the download. Please hit the download. Okay. Now what you can see on your screen. Right, it's downloading Ultra Viewer setup. 6.6 .6 EXEs. 
And is there any option that you can see open file? But it's still downloading. Oh, okay. Let it take time. Let it take time. Once yeah. it's done, please do let me know. And can you please do let me know what okay. usually you do over the You want computer. me to open it up? Yes, please open it up. Okay. Do you now want to allow the photo in Duck? What the hell's Duck Fabulous? I don't know no Duck Fabulous. Uh, what you can see on your screen. Do you want to allow the following the program to make changes so you've got Duck Fabulous? Hit yes. Yeah. Then hit next for three times. Next. And install. Once the installation is done, please do let me know. Yeah, all right then. Okay, please hit finish and you will be able to see your ID and your password on your screen. Oh, yeah, I'll see the ID and the password. Right, as I can see, you have been successfully connected to the secured server of Microsoft. Now, can you please you let me know what you can see on your laptop screen right now? Wait a moment, it's the UltraViewer website. It's got 50%, I don't okay, know what it's referring it to, though. Close out the browser. I'll close the browser, all right. Now, what you can see on your screen? Well, just my, my home screen. You know, with all the icons, Spotify, Zoom, VLC, Audacity, Google Chrome, just this and that, you know, normal stuff. Now, please uh, allow me a quick moment, okay? Yeah, all right then. Now, can you please do me a favor and please connect me with your computer uh, so I can uh, do the security check and I can do the diagnosis for you? I thought you were what connected. You do, well, at least alert. I'm connected on this Microsoft oh. Secure Server of the Ultra Viewer. Uh, no, with the help of that, I just connected you with the secured server. So no third party people or no virus can affect your device anymore. Ah, uh, we now, don't want to third me with parties. Your computer, what do you need to do? Right. Now, uh, what you need to do, please have a look uh, on your keyboard at the left bottom. You will see the window key, the four box white in color. Press and hold it down okay. for 10 seconds. And uh, hit the letter T as in Tango. T? Yes, Never done Windows right. and T. All right, it's brought up, uh, what's this, Microsoft. Okay, as I can see, now I'm connected. Please allow me a quick moment, okay? And can oh, you please so let me know what usually uh, you do over this computer? Well, this computer is a new computer. You know, I only got it at Christmas time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, do you do any kind of emails, online shopping, online bill payments? Well, I haven't had enough time to do that. Have online banking. Oh, yeah, I, I do enjoy a good <laughs> online bank. I've I've done that on this computer already. You have? Okay. Yeah. And did you notice anything unusual by the recent days? Well, like I said, I don't know. This is the first time, well, this is like the first week I've had a computer. I've... I don't know much of what happens on it. Okay, and apart from you, do did you get anything else, good for uh, Christmas? Access this game. You get a good Christmas present. Did Santa em empty his oh, sack yes. all over you and make sure everything's all right? And uh, as I can see, you're using an application. Well, yeah, I've put on a couple of applications. I haven't installed everything yet. I haven't had time to install okay, each and everything. Did not use your mouse or your keyboard? Oh, I'm not allowed not to use, use my mouth. Your mouse or you. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah. Let me take you. Take me where? Because the kind of application that you're using, it's uh, not really okay that I can see here. Please allow me a quick moment. Yeah, all right, then. So, did you get anything good at Christmas? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, what did you get? Did you get what you wanted? Right. But well, that's not exactly answering my question. I was just wondering if if you uh, you know, got what you wrote after Santa for. Uh, I didn't ask Santa for anything. You didn't ask Santa. How are you supposed to get any good Christmas presents if you don't write to Santa? Okay, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, do you believe in right, Santa Claus? Few things. Uh, oh, for sure. Okay. Now, can you please confirm me a few things? Uh, here I can see the current connections, uh, number 12. I believe you can see on your screen here. Number 12. Right. Can you please confirm me one thing? Like, apart from this uh, computer, are you using any other uh, computer, laptop, cell phone, with the same internet? 
Well, it, it depends. You know, sometimes I, I watch uh, the stuff on my smart TV. I got the smart TV now. And, I, of course, I got my tablet. And sometimes I connect on the cell phone if I don't want to use my 5Gs of data. Okay, are you using uh, that right now? What, what you want me to turn my TV on? I don't know what they got playing on, on Talking Pictures TV right now. But they normally have something good on from the good old days. Uh, no, I'm just asking that are uh, using uh, your uh, like cell phone with the same internet right now. Uh, at the moment, I got it on the 5Gs because it's just a phone call. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Just allow me a quick moment. Let me uh, check a few more things here, okay? All right, then. There's. Oh, wait, there's a lot of writing there. Okay, as uh, I can see here, there's uh, some malware that got detected. And that is Bridex malware. Do you know anything about Bridex malware? Dradex. Oh, uh, let me think. Right. Isn't that the stuff they put in disinfectant to make you throw up? No, wait, that's Bratex, isn't it? Uh, Bratex. Uh, Dradex, it's, it's in kind of uh, like malicious software, which has been specialized for stealing banking credential. Right. Over that's no good now, is network. it? So, Bloody hackers. No, it's not really good. No. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me update uh, some securities very fast, okay? Then I will guide you with few steps what you can do to keep uh, your information on a secure side. Please allow me a quick moment. Let me upgrade the securities very quick. All right, then. Okay, now I want oh, you to on. please uh, press the window key and the letter R once again. And uh, I want you to please disconnect me uh, from your computer. Disconnect you from the computer? How do I do that? Yes, I put in the I windows in the letter R. Uh, I want you to please press and hold down the window key on your keyboard for 10 seconds. Oh, 10 seconds. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I let go okay, of it as now? I can see, uh, I have, yes, as I okay. can see, I have been disconnected now. Well, I, I, I didn't now, see that. Uh, the, flat, the start menu flashed up for a second. Apart from that, I don't know each and everything. Once you change your password, they will be not able to do anything. Okay? All right. Then. Uh, can you please go ahead and uh, use this uh, computer only. Do not use your cell phone. Okay? Because that is not safe. And uh, please check your financials and do let me know if you notice anything wrong. Oh, okay. Let me open up the thing. Why does that keep on popping up? I, d I don't have Apple TV. I had to close all these. No worry. I will help you to block uh, these. Okay. So how am I going to change my password? Right. No worry. I will do let you know. Uh, once uh, you are in, please do let me know, okay? Okay. First, then. please have a look and check everything. Uh, yeah. Like everything is okay or not. If you notice anything unusual, anything suspicious, please do let me know. Then I will guide you to how you can change your password or what steps you can take to keep your information safe. Okay. Please take your time. Wait, I just got to wait on the text message of the old DB. There we go. It's working now. Must be some kind of issue on the server. I had to put it in three times. Okay, so where do I go to change no my worry, password? You fix out everything. Again, see, is, uh, is there a setting thing on here? Okay. You see overview, messages. It's not going to be messages. I don't know. Uh, I, I may have to call up my bank and, and ask them how, how do I do this. I can't seem to get my password changed. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down very fast. Okay. Nothing to worry. Okay. Uh, like... For, First, give me a confirmation. Have you checked everything? Everything seems to be okay. If everything is okay, it's not a really necessary to change your password if everything seems to be okay. If you notice anything wrong, then I can say that, yes, it's need to be get done. So well, I've, I've got as much fun as, 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 as I expected, okay so I'm just going to log off of this. It looks all right to me. Okay, check the statement. 
There you go. And uh, the financial institution you checked, apart from that, do you have any other financial institution that you're dealing with, like any retirement account, any investment account, any stock account, anything? Well, all of my investments, but most of it's just gold and silver bullion. Got a little bit of crypto, though. That's why I got the crypto miner in stock. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah. have you checked that account as well? Well, I can't really check my gold and silver bullion. I would have to go uh, go and check into my safety deposit box at that. That's where okay. my golden... And, uh, well, I can't, I'm not going to tell you where my gold and silver bullion is stored, but it is in a safety deposit uh, box. Okay. All right. No yeah. worry. Uh, but I will suggest you not to use any other device if possible. You can use this uh, computer as I'm not connected right now. <coughs> and uh, you can just have a look at everything. Well, it's not on now. a device. It's a safety deposit box. You know, it's not a physical box in a secure location that's going to be undisclosed. Okay. Yeah. All right. No worry. And... Uh, Okay, as uh, apart from that, do you have any other investment account, any retirement account, IRA, anything? No, I that, have no uh, dealings with the IRA. Okay. Man. All right. Uh, now, please do me a favor. Please connect me back with your computer if you're done. I thought you were connected on my computer. You got the ultra uh, no. viewer, haven't you? I'm not. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm I can close this out to view it. You already disconnected me, right? Now, please press and hold down the window key. You just for close the ultra viewer. And uh, please connect me. You don't need to close the ultra viewer. Well, I thought that was how you were connected. So you just told me you weren't connected. So I disconnected. Sir, with the help of the ultra viewer, we were working over your network. Oh, so you were connected. You're confusing me now. Through the ultra viewer, we connected yeah. your device with the secured server. So that's need to be stay connected. Oh, so we got to redo the ultra viewer then. Let me open that back right. up. Okay, I've reopened the ultra viewer. Please uh, tell me the password. Okay. Now please press and hold down the window key. Okay. How, what, another 10 seconds on the window key? Oh, wait, it's gone into start. Now right. it's come out of start. And it's gone into start. All right. Uh, now please leave your computer as it is. Let me do the diagnosis, okay? Oh, all right, then. I thought you already done the diagnostics. Wasn't that, that a black screen that said I had bright tech on my computer? Wait, what was that? Microsoft Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. With the help of this software, we are going to uh, remove the malwares, okay? And uh, then we need to block these people. As you can see, people from different city or you can say different state, they are connected. Wait, it says Relay, uh, 2090, 132, right, right. VMI, 111. Yes, these IP addresses. There's another 2090, 152. The state and different location. Then we got... WK back. See, these are not a proper. Daddy 94455. Yes, got three of those. Got NS500. NKHL PPK mm -hmm. 95. And 52, 168, right. 173. Right. So we need to block these IP addresses because these IP addresses are from different state and different city. Well, yeah, I imagine they're all around the world. Over your network. Isn't that how the internet works? I'm sorry? Isn't that how the internet works? It connects to IP addresses. Right. Yeah. So why would we want to block them? See, these are the third-party people. That is why we need to block these people. No, I don't go in for third parties, like no. You can say, That's most likely Germany. Uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The thing is here, uh, whenever we are scrolling over the browser, let's suppose, let me close it out very fast. Okay. And uh, you, uh, you said you used to get some kind of advertisement, right, on your screen. I don't know anything about advertisement. It was like a warning from the Windows Defender Security. Uh, and that's why I called you up. 
Right, right. And this is the Windows Firewall security. It's a pre-installed security that you have by Microsoft, I believe. You can see on your screen, right? Yeah, it's just, see, uh, it looks all green to me. Yes, it looks all right. Network connected. They all got tickies. Right. Now, yeah. now let me tell you one thing, that uh, the private network is not connected. I believe you already know the network that you're using right now. It's your private network. But it's Starlink. Right. Yes, it's your private network, either you I or I don't know if it, how it's private it is, but it's old Elon Musk, he sent the satellites up into space and they fly over and I beam it up to that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is here that this is your private network, right? Only you or your... Uh, no, your everybody on Starlink will be able to connect. But apart from you, do anyone else have access for your internet? Elon Musk and thousands of others are on the Starlink. Okay. Yeah. But they're not going to use your internet, right? If well, it's the same on... internet. It, it bounces all over the satellite dishes. All right. You want me no to worry. log into my uh, Starlink? I believe you're not getting my point. Yes, please do that. Oh, I log into my Starlink. What is it? It's... I got to put in the IP address of the Starlink. Okay, please do that. Okay. So I can explain you everything. In a oh, please way. do. Yeah. What is it? Uh, 192. Dot 168.100. Dot 1. There we go. We got the Starlink. This is my internet thing. There we go. We're online. Everything should be all right. All right, so I got all the details up on my Starlink. All right, just allow me a quick moment. Let me check. All right, then. Now, you're just doing a speed test. Okay. Okay. Now, let me show you one thing here. Please do not use your mouse. Oh, I won't use my mouth, no. Here, are you using 12 devices right now? Am I using 12 devices? Well, there's this computer. Right. There's a phone. There's a tablet, there's a smart TV. That's only four devices. Okay. Yeah. Now, apart from the four devices, there are uh, like some other eight devices are already uh, connected over your network. And these are the hackers, the third party people who they are trying to hack into your computer through your internet. You got my point? And right, okay, so that they've ha got the into Windows the satellite dish. Where's that guy in the garden shed? I'm sorry. Well, there's a guy in the garden shed. He, he spent over $14 million in his garden shed. He go, big old satellite system. I bet it's him. But somehow, somebody got a loop, and that is how they got, they got a loop over your network. Right, there's some kind of loop. Well, it's been quite Might a few be. years since I went uh, to loop. I must have been, what, five years you. ago? I went to St. Michael's Mount, you, you know, and I, I met a guy there called Mr. Mm -hmm. Pretty. He wanted to call an MTCN so we could confirm the payment. Everything all right? Why are you tapping in hentai? Oh, what is your IP? Oh, what what is... Oh, the, the dry decks. Yeah, you on about that. I thought it was bright decks, which is what you got the. Uh, that they put that in in the disinfectant and whatnot to make people throw up, and make sure they don't drink it. You still there? And can you please do let me know? Yes, I'm here. Can you please okay. let me know how old are you? I'm forty four now, I guess. You know, time's getting on in years. Okay. okay, do one thing. Uh, okay. You just need to restart your computer, okay? And it will going to be good to go now. Oh, I'll restart it, all right. So we ain't got this dry decks malware on it no more. Right. Right. The diagnosis is done. Just, okay, uh, then. Do a restart video, okay? And it will going to be good to go. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling Microsoft. Have a nice day. Thank you, Jim.